As a designer, I've been creating logos for the past 10 years and creating logos can be a very daunting task. But what if I told you that there is a very simple way to create your logos? This video will show you how to create professional logos using Canva. Let's get started. If you subscribe to our YouTube channel within the next 7 days, you can be selected as a lucky winner who would get access to Canva Pro for 6 months. So back to the video. Here I'm going to show you how to create this because I created this using Canva. And if you look at this, you notice this is the Montserrat classic font. I didn't change it. and But this is different because this is an icon and I just wanted to use a word mark and also an icon to create this. And that's why we have this icon here. But let me show you how to create this in a very short amount of time. I'm going to create a new page right here. For reference, I'm going to copy this and I'm going to bring it here. I'm going to change the color to black because it's good to start designing Legos with black and white. Now, if you notice here, this is not straight, which means that I had to rotate it. What I'm going to do is rotate it back to this is how it's supposed to be this way, but I'm going to just rotate it back to 180. All right, and then here we have it. Let's increase this a little bit. Maybe not a little bit, but that's okay. And the next thing we want to do is choose a font. So when you're creating something like this, you need to look for a font that actually fits what you're creating. For us, we thought that stick art will be good if we use Montserrat font. And we're using this because it's actually a free font and we have access to use this for our logo as well. All right, now this is a kind of logo that you can create and even trademark because it is completely unique and completely yours. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write my text. And to do that, I can just simply use the T right here and just add a head in here. So I want to use two of those words, um, the, the S and the C as well. So that's what I'm going to use. And here we have C, like so. Okay, great. Select both of them. I'm going to increase them. And here I'm going to change the font type because I don't want to use Leaf Spartan. I'm going to use Montserrat and it has to be bold. Great. Here you can see we have this right here. And the next thing we want to do is we are going to just increase it a little bit to get to this point here. Now for this, I'm going to give it a hollow effect and just make the thickness this way. I'm also going to change the color to this just to see what I'm doing. Now, I want to show you guys exactly how this works. So let's select this and I'm going to put it right here. Great. Let's bring it down a little bit. Bring it down a little bit. I'm going to copy this style and I'm going to paste it here. And then I'm going to drag this over here to this part here. Now you can see that we we have this looking really nice. I like it. I'm just going to reduce this a little bit. So leave it at one. So here we can then decide to figure out how to place it so it fits and matches this logo correctly. So here's where we have it. And you can see this is now, this is the C part of it and this is the S part of it. But what I'm going to do next is I want to make sure that I have my S two as a top so that I can have this curve here perfectly. So I'm going to just drag it this way. You can see that. Okay, so you can see that it's calling that shape out over there. Now let's select both of them and change the color back to this. And we're just going to remove the effect. Right, now let's properly fix it. Let's fix it properly. Okay, there is a problem and the problem here is 
we need to send it to uppercase. Great. Select both of them. Go back to effect. Make it none. Select the color. Change it to black. And make it uppercase. Great. So here you can see that we have similar logo like so. I'm going to just put it over here. Then the next thing I'm going to do, just play around with this a little bit. Push it this way to see how that is going to form. And then I like this. Okay, so this is okay. Now we have this. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select both of them. No, I'm going to delete this one, select this, and I'm going to group them together right here. They're going to be just in the middle and I'm going to increase it this way. Maybe just so big like this. Now we do have this. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to export this as an SVG. So go over to share. And here you're going to say download. You select what you want to download it as. I'm going to select SVG. And I also want it to be transparent background. If you want to download your elements with a transparent background, you need to have access to Canva Pro. And that's why I've included Canva Pro link in the description that will give you access to using Canva Pro features free for 45 days. Let's go back to the video. Here, I'm going to select the current page and say done. And which is page two and go ahead to download. So we have successfully downloaded this logo. The next thing is we are going to find it and bring it somewhere where we complete the work. All right, so to complete your logo, you need to import the SVG that you've downloaded. So here I have my logo from Canva in Figma. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to split everything. Here you can see we have this and we also have this one. What I'm going to do is select both of them and drag them out so I can just delete that because it's like in a frame and we have these logos here what I'm going to do is I'm going to select both of them and I'm going to come right here and I'm going to use the union selection so they become one logo now with this I can then go ahead and use the rectangle icon here this rectangle you can just simply hit R and I'm going to just draw something like this. I'm going to reduce the transparency so we can see that clearly. Great. Now, just zoom in. And what I want to do is just reduce it a little bit. I'll just skew it here. You can see this. And I can just put it right here. Right here. Here. The next thing I'm going to do is I will select all of them. I'm going to come right here and I'm going to subtract selection. Now, what this means is subtract this portion here, this portion here from here and here. So that's what I'm going to do. Just hit subtract and it's gone. So you can see that is gone entirely. So now that you have it this way, the next thing you're going to do is you can go ahead and change the color as you want. You can change the color to whatever you want right here. Change the color as you would like to. You can change it. You can turn it into a gradient. Let's just make it a gradient I like that. And you can just put that right here for this. And here we're going to choose this here it's gonna choose yellow over here and I'm just gonna make it bigger but I'm gonna change this one to purple like this and then in the middle I'm going to give it a little bit of green okay yeah that's fine so we've got this over here and we also have this just right here okay now this is quite interesting. Okay, now that you have this, the next thing you want to do is you want to export this as an SVG. And what I'm going to do is the same process. Go over here, select it, go to export, select this and say SVG, export it. 
and here you can just export it as subtract 2 and then just hit and save now you've saved it as SVG the next thing you want to do is import it into Canva and you're good to go I'll go over to Canva I'm going to just delete this one because I don't need it I'm creating a new page I'm just send this to the top over here and the next thing is go over to uploads and I want to upload that logo into Canva Here's it. I can drop it in my artboard and you can see that it brings it in with the color and I can just play around with the colors as well. Change them to whatever I want. And that's how to do it. Let's change the middle one. Just going to change that to this. Maybe this. Not so good. Maybe this. I'm just going to put purple here and a little bit of red around that end and this will just have a little bit of colors in between this part here so it just blends in okay great so here you can see that you have this icon over here if you want to see how beautiful this is just change the color of that to black and you can see that you have this right here for me, in my own case, because I liked it and it was really what I wanted. So what I did was I had to just rotate it a little bit this way. And to do that perfectly, I used the line. I have my line here. So I brought this down here and made sure that both edges were touching the line. And that was how we created our sticker logo using Canva. Now, remember, the only trick you have to do here is after creating what you want, you can just export it to Figma. Figma is free to use as well, and that will help you convert your file into SVG. Uh, use the SVG file that you've created and uh, edit it, you know, cut out parts of the logo that you don't want and return it back into Canva. And you can use it freely for yourself professionally. Make sure you subscribe to this channel within the next 7 days so you can stand a chance to win Canva Pro for 6 months. And that's all about this video. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. If you haven't subscribed yet, do that right now. Hit the button, it's red. And also click on the bell icon so you get notified when we publish new videos like this every week. I'll see you guys. Bye.